Well, hello there. Welcome back to another video. I don't even know what to vlog about anymore, you guys. Like, there's just been not much going on. Uh, I know I keep saying that, but it would be better if I had my own place right now, but I don't, so I just don't have a lot that I can share. Right, right now, I'm getting ready to go to the store. I have to get groceries for the house. I have my totes with me. You know, we're not using plastic anymore, so I have that with me. I didn't know this, but Whole Foods gives you a discount if you bring your own bag because um, I went there once and I had my bag with me and she rang everything up and she started putting in a paper bag and I was like, oh my God, I forgot to tell you I brought my own bag. And she was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't give you the discount for bringing your own bag. I didn't even I didn't even know there was a discount for it, but if you didn't know, now you do. You can get a little discount. It's probably like 10% off or something. I really don't know. I didn't even ask her what the discount was. I have my mask here and I have my plastic gloves. I'm gonna put them on in a second um, so that I can actually talk to you guys. And that's pretty much what's going on. That's pretty much what is going on. It is now week four and this week it started to feel normal for me like every all the days and weeks leading up to this week i i felt like i was losing my mind and i was like i'm never gonna adjust to this like this is too much and this week i it just started to feel normal i mean i do still want things to go back to normal but it does this is the new normal and i i've just given into it because there's no point in driving myself crazy i don't I, i'm not gonna do any good by just crying about it and complaining about it even though i do still complain about it i'm just grateful to be healthy i'm grateful that i can still communicate with people through facetime um it's just a really crazy scary time i feel like we've gotten to the point now where everyone knows someone who's been affected or someone who is really sick or someone who has passed away from it which is so sad like i cannot believe we're to that point because you know when it first started for me anyways i didn't really know anyone that was affected by it and now i know so many people that have been affected by it. some really minor cases and some very severe cases so yeah what can you do i just hope things start to get better i'm gonna take off i'm not gonna vlog at the store because it's just i think it's I, I don't have any help and i have to hold everything and i'm gonna have my plastic gloves and everything so i'm not gonna vlog at the store um but yeah you guys this is this is week four i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> i just finished doing my makeup i did it live on instagram i'm gonna film like how i do my hair in waves and i'm gonna make that its own video so I'm going to change my top, film the video, and I'll be right back. Good morning. <laughs> We're waking up together, and no lie. I just got up. It's 8 in the morning, but I'm just getting out of bed now. I woke up 7 a.m. No, actually, I woke up at 6 a.m. first, and I was like, oh, no, baby. This is too early. <laughs> so I tried to go back to sleep. Sorry, I gotta spray this on myself. I feel like when I wash my face in the morning, it just feels so dry. So finally at 7 a.m. I'm like, you know what? I can't sleep anymore. So I was on my phone. During quarantine, I I'm like, who's texting me this early? It's FedEx. <laughs> I think I have a package arriving today. During quarantine, I haven't been setting an alarm because I'm like, what's the point of waking up early? I'm stuck at home all day and I still wake up early. Thank you, body. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited for the package I'm getting today. All right, let's go get coffee. Putting my phone down. I don't even vlog before I have coffee, but I decided I'm just taking you guys with me through my whole day so we're starting even before coffee i got these oh my god another text oh it's my friend okay it's very early oh. my friend just texted me i had the craziest dream with you you know it's crazy if you're texting me in the morning um okay so i got these under eye patches from wander beauty 
and I've never tried theirs and I'm obsessed with under eye patches I wear them every single morning so we're gonna try these out sorry if I'm like kind of whispering but there's still people asleep here so I'm trying not to be too loud but hopefully you guys could hear me no matter how many hours of sleep I get I still feel super tired when I wake up in the morning and I've been laying in bed awake for an hour and I still feel very very tired Ooh, I like these. I'm super picky about under eye patches. I hate when they are too slimy and slide right off your face. These do not budge. I really like that. Eek. I really like these. Okay, let's go make our coffee. This is what I use to make my coffee in the morning. My mom has a Nespresso machine. Do I want to use... Mm, I kind of want to switch it up. I don't even know what these mean. I don't know, I'm just gonna try this one. Make sure there's none in there. We're gonna do cup. The best creamer ever, you guys know I've been using this for years. It's almond milk creamer. funny because well not funny so interesting that my old routine used to be so much more fast paced like I would wake up and immediately change into my gym clothes and go work out and life in quarantine is very different <laughs> so as you can see I'm back in bed because this is what I do after I make my coffee I come back in bed with my under eye patches on. I leave them on for like 15, 20 minutes. I kind of have a little bit of a leisure moment. It's like so much more of a relaxed life in quarantine. Not purposely, this is just what I have felt works for me. And I this is how I like to start my day while in quarantine. When quarantine's over, I'm going back to my regular routine because I love that so much more. But right now I am enjoying this peaceful start to my mornings. So yeah, I get back in bed. I enjoy my coffee. Oh my God, so good. Honestly, the creamer makes it so good. And while I enjoy my coffee, I grab my iPad and I start reading. And I'm really enjoying reading in the mornings. I used to read it before bed. And now I read in the mornings and I really love it. The book that I'm reading right now is called A Return to Love. And I am on chapter seven. I'm halfway through, let's see. Yeah, I'm halfway through the book. It has 300 pages. I'm halfway through. Well, I'm just a vision in the morning. <laughs> I know you guys are always asking me for book recommendations. I rec I shared a bunch of recommendations on my Instagram stories and I have a books highlight on my Instagram um, profile. So if you just click on that highlight, I have a bunch of books that I've recommended over time. But I really, really love this book. Like I said, it's called A Return to Love. And I'm talking, first of all, who am I? I'm talking so much before my coffee, but <clears throat> we're all different people now in quarantine. <laughs> I'll stop talking in a minute, but yeah, I really love this book. It's um, It kind of takes from this other book called A Course in Miracles and it kind of, I guess, summarizes A Course in Miracles with a huge emphasis on love. And it's just so eye-opening and it really breaks down what it means to love, love yourself, love your partner, love your kids, love your friends, and just be like this human 
that's made up of love so do recommend that one i'm really loving it i'm gonna start reading it now actually i need to know what my friend's dream about me was because no she never texted me this early should we play it out loud40 in the morning i just got back from my walk with max and well i didn't just get back i was doing my eye makeup um i'm doing my eye makeup right now and then after that i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup on live i don't know why i hate doing my eye makeup on live because i feel like it takes me forever and then i won't even like talk to you guys on instagram live so i'm doing my eye makeup i'm pretty much done i'm just gonna pop on my lashes and then i'm gonna hop on live finish the rest of my makeup probably do a little q a because you guys sent me some questions yesterday and i just have so much to do today like honestly it's like a really busy day and normally i don't have a lot going on that's why i haven't been vlogging but i oh my god my eyes look so light it's like a busy day for sunday energy i have to edit a video i have to, i'm filming <laughs> it's just a really busy day so i'm gonna go ahead and um get this makeup done and then i will see you guys and fill you in on sunday energy when my makeup's done sorry i was eating something but i just finished doing my makeup we had the best instagram live it was so funny some dad came on like auctioning his son off he was like my son is 28 he goes to school blah 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 anyways it was really funny i went live with the dad oh my god i'm gonna try to save that instagram because it was so hilarious i'm gonna eat a little something now and then I have to figure out what I'm going to film and what I'm going to wear to film. So remember how I told you guys earlier that I was expecting a package? I just got it. Oh my god, this was such a big splurge for me. So this right here is my favorite perfume in the entire world. This is what I smell like every day in case you guys are wondering. So a lot of my stuff is in storage including all of my perfumes. And I actually have a bottle of this, a brand new bottle, somewhere in storage, hopefully. I haven't been able to get it. So then Bloomingdale's was having a 25% off like friends and family sale. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take advantage of the sale and order my perfume. I ended up getting the travel sizes just because like I have the full size bottle at home and I wanted the travel size options for when I travel or to throw my purse but oh my god you guys this is the best smelling perfume it's called Baccarat Rouge by 40 and it's by I don't even know how to pronounce it Mason Francis I don't know <laughs> but anyways it smells so good and I haven't I haven't smelled like this for months and I'm so excited so this one brings five travel sizes and then it brings a travel size little wait it brings six travel sizes oh no it doesn't wow this is heavy i thought there was another bottle in here and it's magnetic Ooh, oh my god this is so cute so you can actually put one of the travel sizes thingies in here and throw this in your purse this is really cute smells so good you guys i am now going to start editing a video so that i can try to have it up at a decent time today and yeah that's gonna be just my main focus right now i haven't edited a video in over a week <laughs> so i feel like i'm a little rusty but we gotta get it done pray for me you guys i went to the store and i got 
nail file, nail polish remover. I already have um, cotton and foil paper. I'm gonna try to remove these gel nails and cut them because I can't get any work done and they look disgusting. Can we talk here in bed, you guys? I'm so tired right now. <laughs> See, like I never talk to you guys from bed. I'm always like sitting somewhere, but I'm so comfortable right now <laughs> that I'm just gonna talk to you guys from here. And I'm kind of cold, it's a little bit cold today. It's been pouring all day. I just wanna end the vlog here and share one little life update. I'm going to be able to move in exactly two weeks from now. The furniture company is going to be able to deliver my furniture, which is the main thing I was waiting for. And I, before all of this happened, I had already purchased pretty much everything that I needed, like little things like utensils and plates and stuff. I shared a little um, home haul with you guys like the week <laughs> the quarantine happened. So I literally have all of that stuff waiting for me. I ordered sheets and pillows from Amazon. Not well, not the sheets. The sheets are not from Amazon, but I'll show you guys all of that once I move into my new place. But I'm so excited, you guys, like to move. I'm gonna be able to film so much more. I've been extremely limited here just because I didn't have a lot of um privacy and it's just been very limiting to only have this room to myself here and just my stuff has been in storage for months now and it's just like really crazy i don't even know when i'm gonna get my stuff out of storage because well i'm gonna ask my dad and my brother to help me with that i'm excited for you guys to join me on this new chapter of my life because like at times i feel like i'm going at it alone but then when i think about like you guys that are so supportive and always leave me such encouraging comments I feel like I'm not doing it on my own like I feel like you guys are coming with me and you'll help me get through this next phase of my life which I am really excited for it's just unknown territory but I'm really excited I'm going to end the vlog here thank you guys for watching I hope you're all staying safe and taking care of yourselves and I will see you guys in the next video bye Mwah.